Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play This Gaia! For some reason, whenever I start up Etna mode, that brief pause in the music always throws me off. As though I turned off the music while grinding and forgot to turn it back on. My legs are getting numb! No! I can't give up now! This must be one of Miss Etna's tests! A space detective has to be able to overcome this! But you're just trying to be an assistant. Now that I think about it, assistants don't get to transform and fight and... Ugh. What are you going to transform into, Flanzilla? But transforming is the best part! Maybe if I ask Miss Etna, she'll let me transform. Yes, a transforming assistant! It's never been done, but I could be the first! I better hurry and decide on a pose! Ha! Transform! I will protect the peace of the netherworld! Uh, why do you care about the netherworld? Assistant Space Detective Justice Flaw! Sid Justice? No, no. Love and peace to your heart! But you didn't see that reference coming, did you, viewers? God, that's old. Flan! Angel trainee Flan! Oh no. Let's see. I should turn my hands like this, and then I'll do. Flan! Uh, yes? Oh! Who is it? Shouldn't you know? It is I, God! A being even holier than the Seraph. G -g God? I'm afraid I cannot reveal myself. But Flan, listen to me very carefully. No, no, Flan, th th that's not God. Is it really God? I think I've heard this voice before. Shouldn't all the angels know who God is? I know it's hard to believe, but who else would know why you, an angel, are in the netherworld? I mean, it isn't... I don't know. Don't they all share the same place? You have been sent on a mission by the Seraph to assassinate the Overlord. How do you know that? Because I am God. <laughs> I just like how he says that so deadpan. Oh, that does make sense. <laughs> Flan, I will tell you a secret. The demon girl that you met earlier? You mean Miss Etna? Yes, that demon girl, Etna, is the detestable overlord of the netherworld. Well, yeah, that is true. What? For once he's telling the truth. That can't be true. Miss Etna is a demon, but she is also a space detective. There's the truth and the truth. What are you talking about? Are you saying that I, God, am lying to you? No, but... Etna is the demon who is bringing this world into chaos. Well, yeah, that's her ability, chaos impact. As God, I command you to eliminate this Etna. Why would you need Flan, of all people, to do that for you? Okay. I mean, you're God. Just smite her. What are you doing? Now go! Yes, sir! <laughs> what an idiot. Well, you do work for the big man upstairs. That demon girl can't possibly be the Overlord. If Flan dies, all will be fine. Why do you care about her? And if by chance Flan does succeed? I can report to the Seraph that Flan has disobeyed his orders. Don't you mean her orders? Which means the mission to eliminate the Overlord will fall to me. But she is going to eliminate the Overlord. Once I succeed, I will be one step closer to becoming the next Seraph. <laughs> yes, uh... Volcanus seems to be uh, staying in character, despite the, all the time between uh, two games. Okay, so, first things first. I want to have Et- or not Etna. Tiana, my shogun, 
come out there to draw all the enemies in. Actually, you know what? Let's move you right there. Take him out. And I'll move Etna forward a little bit, but I want everyone to gang up on Tiana there. So. But yeah, I thought with the whole angels and seraphs and god thing, I thought, you know, they were all in the same place. Like, there's hell, earth, and well, then heaven, right? I thought, uh... Yeah, I just thought they were all already in the same place. Or do, like, the angels and the seraph... Or seraphs... Uh, are they're in heaven, but then God is on another plane of existence or something. I don't know. I'm just curious, really, how that how that whole thing works. But anyway, yeah, we got a whole bunch of zombies here. Once you let them gang up on Tiana, then you're in pretty good shape. Hooda man! Hooda man! Booyah! It's on now! Er, wait a minute. I just want to hear that guy say it's on now. So you know what? I'm going to let you live. I'm going to let all you guys live. I'm going to defend. So that... How did you take damage? I must have missed it. I was too busy talking about uh, angels and stuff. Angels and demons. I heard that was a pretty good book. Um, okay. Let's, uh... No, no, you know what? Let's stay here. I want to hear them say it's on now again. Come on. Booyah! Booyah! Hoota man! Ah, oh, come on! I'll let it go one more round. And, uh, if they don't say it then, then I'll just kill them. Shazam! Booyah! Booyah! Shazam! Okay, they're not doing it. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, Chaos Impact. There we go. Got it! Okay, well, let's heal up before then, because somehow Etna took a lot of damage. Maybe I just forgot to heal after the last battle. I don't know. But anyway, let's head on to the final battle in the Narrow Palace. One, two, three, four... <laughs> oh, money, how do I love thee? Let me count the ways. I think he's redoing all these lines, even though they're verbatim from the With original you lines. To fund my military campaign, I shall become the next overlord. I suppose that makes sense. Now I get it. This ugly castle belongs to Hogmiser. You don't want him saying a line that was originally in the game and then have him change it. His accent suddenly a year or two later. Oh, just little old me. Or, well, a few years later, but you know what I mean. You're Edna. We only met a few times. I'm surprised you remember me. What? I'll never forget. Before the Overlord died, you went on a shopping spree using my credit card. Okay, but you have all this money now. Because of you, I almost went bankrupt! Really? That's funny. I don't remember. Don't you <laughs> dare joke around with me. I'll make you pay for what you've done! Well, we're all rich here. We can make a deal. That's nice. But you might want to check this out first. You have more troops? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I am the next overlord! Prince Lahar! <laughs> I like how he imitated Laharl's laugh. That voice, those antennae, it's Prince Laharl! Dumbass. Yeah, we have the Overlord's son on our side. This guy's an idiot. Now that you know, you better obey us. <laughs> What's so funny? Has your fear driven you insane? No, his insane has driven him fearful. Prince Lahal? Why should I obey him? Actually, I'm glad he's here. Once I defeat him, 
I'll be the next overlord! Or you could just throw him. I'll squish him like a bug. I wonder what happens to a pretty after you throw them and they explode. Huh? You sure sound confident. Do they just get reincarnated into another pretty body? Defeating you will teach anyone who opposes the prince a lesson. For the sake of the prince, have a spectacular death. Setna, just when I finally found you, you're fighting for power and money. Oh yeah, that's what demons do. Is Setna really the overlord like God said? If that's true... All right, it's boss time against Hogmiser himself. So, first things first, let's use uh, Big Bang on the three up front here. And then we'll go with a good asteroid drop, and the rest should be easy. It's just Hogmiser then. But yeah, I was saying about how they recorded all the uh, bonus content in uh, this game. It kind of reminded me of uh, Final Fantasy X, uh, the international version of the game. Where, as I recall, for the bonus content, they simply used lines that were otherwise recorded in the game. Like, you heathen! Or, stay away from the summoner! You sure don't have a lot of power to back up your big mouth. So they just reused the old dialogue for the bonus All content. Alright, pretty squad! Steal everything that looks valuable! I wonder how they did that for the international version of 10 Tid. You... I don't you can't! I won't be able to survive without my money! <laughs> this might not be the best time to tell you this, but I really don't care whether you starve to death or not. Look at your pig! You got plenty of bacon. How horrible! Is she really a space detective? She can't be! Space detectives help the weak and protect the innocent! Well, they just investigate things, like an inspector. A strong belief in justice, but hey, wait, you bully! Ah, oh, not again. <laughs> Porkmeister. Porkmeister. Don't take all of Father's hard-earned money. Really, game? Don't you talk to me like that? You want to be beaten down like your father or something? He didn't have a name in the original game, did he? I don't think so. I think they just called him Hogmiser's son. You talk back to me again and I'll kill ya! Did he have a name in the anime? I forget. I've watched it, I just don't remember anything about that. Hogmiser! <laughs> yes? Your son's got guts. Unlike you. Do, 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 do you have it? Guts! Uh, you think so too? I'm very proud of him. I could use a kid like him. What? Pretty Squad! Tie this kid up and take him away! Aye aye, dude! Ah, you can't fight off a Prinny. Pork Meister! Gotcha! <laughs> I'm not that evil. I won't split you two apart. Hogmeister seems to be a bit more over the top this time really? around. Really? You're so kind. I like that. Don't thank me yet. I'm gonna use both of you as slaves for life. Ah, you horrible, horrible demon! Hey, that's what you get for stealing the king's portrait. So you're... take... your... whatever. So you're enslaving him because he stole a painting? There's oh, you are no a demon. doubt now. God told me the truth. Miss Etna claims to be a space detective, but she's really just an evil overlord. Well, yeah, that's what she does. And I was almost fooled into becoming her assistant. There's only one thing left to do. For God and the Seraph, I must fight Miss Etna. I'll teach her what a space detective should be. I wonder if they're mentioning, like, God and everything because of the remake. Like, I heard in the original game, they didn't want to call Celestia Heaven and the Netherworld Hell because of... You know, well, it's time for Etna's Q and A. Corner. They didn't want to risk offending certain religious organizations or whatever. Don't forget, Blonde is here too. But I guess by the time they made the remake, they figured, eh, we're big enough. We can worry. We don't have to worry about it. I'm taking this time out of my busy schedule to answer your letters, and I don't you know. have to answer all the questions. All 
right. Let's take this first letter and make it into a paper airplane. Uh. You can't do that. Here, should you let read it me first? Read a letter. This one is from a six-year-old girl from Earth. I got into a fight with my friend, but I want us to be friends again. What should I do? Not get into a fight with them again? You're a nice girl. Don't worry. If you apologize, you'll be friends again in no time. You're way too optimistic, Blonde. It kind of makes me want to hurl. A printy. If you're going to spew, spew into this. If everyone could get along just by apologizing, we wouldn't need cops. They have cops in the netherworld? Then, what do you think she should do? If you were a real man, you'd let your fists resolve your issues. Um, she's a girl? But she's a girl! <laughs> Fine, I forgot each other said that. for all I care. Violence doesn't resolve anything! Well, getting into arguments is pretty normal for friends, so they should be fine. You didn't help at all! Okay then, I'll be waiting for more of your letters! Goodbye! <sighs> Nothing gets settled around here, does it? Apparently not. But can we defeat Flan? Find out next time. Well, find out in Chapter 3 of Let's Play This Gaia Etna Mode. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.